just stay there, old paint. I'll be back. Oh. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Welcome to Call for Help. I am Leo Laporte, your genial show host. And for six years I've been doing this show, and for six years oh, I've wanted to have... a real article, genuine double rectified busthead. Thank you, John. Hey. I've wanted to have the courage to wear this shirt. And this is my last chance, so I'm going to wear it. What do you think? You like it? Uh-huh. Yeehaw! <laughs> that's what I call courage. There's old paint in the back there, right? Yeah, there's some string hanging, but that's all right. <laughs> what the heck is that? I just, uh, huh. uh, only that's the problem with this shirt. Yeah. It gets all tangled up and stuff. Only one thing hotter than a geek, and that's a cowboy. <laughs> you like cowboys? Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know if this actually makes me a cowboy. <laughs> hey, welcome to the show. It's good to see you. I'm Leo Laporte, and this is, yes, the last call for help show. But, uh, boy, we're going to have a good time today. I'm so glad you're here. Throughout the show, you're going to see, you know, this show, uh, of course, I've been doing this, and, uh, and uh, we've had many hosts, of course, Kat and, uh, and Phil Allingham and Becky Worley and uh, Scott Harriet and, of course, Chris Perillo for a long time. And, and Silicon Alley, who sat in that seat for a long time uh, that you're sitting in, Cat. A lot of people have been on the show, but what you don't see as often is the, is, is the people behind the scenes. So throughout the show, we're going to give you a little peek at some of the people who bring you call for help every single day. The people behind the cameras who are so very important to this show. And uh, just as a way of acknowledging the work they've done for the past six years. Whew. Now, if you have a question for us at Call for Help, you know, we've got that email form, techtv.com slash call for help. I don't think anybody's going to respond, but you... <laughs> You're welcome to put a question there. <laughs> Force a habit. Uh, you know what? I'm going to come in and I'm going to check the email every day. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm going to come in and sit at my little sure. keyboard. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I like that shirt you're wearing. Is that an Thanks. official call for help yes, t-shirt? Yes, it is. That's the new one? I kind of blend in here, but yeah, this is the new one. We have lots to give away. <laughs> Just in time. We're going to give yeah. them away today? Send, you them your, send us your address and we're going to send out Oh, that's nice. Shirts. Yeah. That's good. Anybody this is wants the girl tee. It's long sleeve if you can't They're really tell. nice. Yeah. yeah, I like them. Before the break, we asked you, who was the very first caller on our very first call for episode? Call for help episode. That was May 11th, 1998. It was my mom. The first time we've ever had the D answer be correct. <laughs> it was my mom, and it was by accident. She had dialed in. We had we were going to take another caller, and they punched up the wrong um, no, button because we didn't know how to work anything. <laughs> and I said hello, and she said, "It's your mom." Oh, I love it. She said, "Mom." It's perfect. <laughs> it was it was a good way actually to start uh, all those years ago. I guess we shouldn't do a coming up on tomorrow's show, uh, should we? No. no. So let's uh, take a look at the email. Okay. Then. I I know that you guys are going to be keeping in touch with us through your blogs. How do yes. I get a blog? Oh, blogs are great. Now, there's a couple of ways to do it. Blogger.com is, is a really good way to do it. Google owns them now, and so you know they're going to be around for a while. And that's absolutely free. Very good service. Live Journal is also free. You don't have to get an invite anymore to do a live journal. I uh -huh. think that's a good choice. Uh, of course, there's uh, people who use commercial services. I use TypePad. Right. You can do that for free, but you probably want to pay 5 10 15 bucks for uh, the more elaborate service. Uh, movable type is the software version to. of that. Use movable type. Yeah. But that requires that you have some expertise uh, modifying your website and, and then so forth and so on. I think probably the best one is blogger.com. I, I think that's a kind of a default these days, yeah, don't you think? Yeah, they make it really easy to set up the template to customize well, it however easier. you want. Yeah. It's, it's a my nice first, site, it's free. My first blog was on blogger.com. Yeah. And you use movable type, which also yeah. is a great program. Right, and we will be keeping in touch with people through our... CatSchwartz.com. Yeah. You're not going to go anywhere, right? You have a future on this channel, well, I think. Well, I yeah, we'll see. <laughs> She's so I cagey. Hope so. You do, I promise you. Okay. Well, let's get one more email We're going to make you sign something saying that. Yeah. Um, what are these home servers everybody are talking about? This is a very popular category right now, but it is kind of confusing. It basically is a little computer, but it's a headless computer. No keyboard, no monitor, just the computer and the hard drive, and you can use it for backup or storing your media on. It's, it's sometimes called a media server or a file server. Uh, you know, the truth is I wouldn't run out and buy one, but you'll know when you need one. When you want to start combining uh, the data from a bunch of computers or maybe have a lot of video that you save and, and store out uh, across the mm -hmm. network, things like that. It's kind of a more advanced thing, but I think more and more you're going to see these. I do not. I don't. No. You're going to get one? No, oh. not yet. Someday. Hey, Kat, oh, yeah. it's been a real pleasure working okay. with you. We, uh, we are at our last episode of Call for Help, six years uh, after starting this, May 11th, 1998. It's been a great journey. We, uh, we thank you so much. It is a real honor and a privilege to get a chance to come into your home every day, and we have loved every single minute of it. Yes. I think I, I don't have to... Yeah. I know I'm speaking for you and everybody else on call. Come on over here, Roger and, and Ian, yeah. everybody else who's on uh, Call for Help. Shot, 
Welcome. It has been so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> and to all the people who have been on Call for Help over the years, Becky Worley, you come up here. <laughs> Phil Allingham, you come up. Come on, Becky. Phil, Phil the there. people who have hosted the show, Scott Harriet's not here. Yes. couldn't be here. Chris Perillo's not here. And everybody else who's been a part of this show, we have loved doing it. We are not saying goodbye just until we meet again. I think we'll be on the air somewhere someday. I'm Leo Laporte. Remember, if you've got a problem with your personal confuser, don't whine, don't moan, don't moan.